Another time, perhaps? Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. In Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Devinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Sheral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Inquisitor, is there something you needed? I await your seat. Lady Inquisitor. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, milady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Celine knows that. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A oh, shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well-versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, milady. Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. Why would the Empress invite that elf woman? The game, of course. Celine has something up her sleeve. Inquisitor Lavellum, how many of the guests have mistaken you for a kitchen servant? You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navarran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change, however sorely it may be needed. I want to know more about the peace talks. I had a question about you, Riala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. Until it matters. 
I will help my people no matter the cost. What's your story? How is an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Celine and I have... history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. What do you mean, we had a falling out? She betrayed me. Turned me over to the guards on a trumped-up charge to save her political reputation. It wasn't personal. It's the game. That's how all Orlesians justify these things to themselves. It wouldn't do to let the court know she had an elven... friend. If she doesn't win you back to her side, what do you intend to do? I have contingency plans. I'm not a child putting all my hopes on a single ball. This evening gives me access to Duke Gaspard. He's challenging. Not as progressive or persuadable as his cousin. But with time and sufficient blackmail, he might work with us. I'm surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Celine than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Ornay, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you. So there's no point in pretending. Yes, Celine and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. You might be interested in what I found. It's about Gaspard. He's been threatening the nobles on the Council of Heralds. Typical. Gaspard's always been a bully, regardless of the Chevalier Code. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. <laughs> 